So we were discussing in the last session how to, uh, what are the important rules when we name these organic com compounds. So if you want to separate, the words are separated by numbers with dash, the numbers are separated by commas. And if there are uh, more than two functional group or a side chain are listed in alphabetical order, ignoring di or tri. For example, as you can see, this compound is having bromine and it is also having fluorine. Even though fluorine is attached with the first carbon, whereas bromine is attached with the third carbon. But we give the preference to the alphabetical order, not the numbering here. Like we write them in terms of alphabetical order. The naming is in terms of alphabetical order, even though fluorine is attached with the first carbon. So it will be three bromo and one fluoro and then the suffix for alkene can uh, go in front of other suffix like example as you can see this compound is having two function group it is having oh and is having e and there is also bromine is there so basically three function groups so second position we have bromine so two bromo there are four carbon atoms that's why it is bu the double bond is connected with the first one that's why it is three in and one all and what about the preference how we know like which as you can see there are three functional group one is oh another one is alkene another one is bromo so what is the level how we work out the preference level for functional group so this is how we give the preference order of the priority carboxylic acid and their derivatives are nitrile, aldehyde, ketone, alcohol, and then amines are there. So if we have alkene or an another thing that is having less priority as compared to that of alcohol. So we give priority to alcohol as a previous example. You can see that it was having three functional groups. It was having bromine. It was having alkene and it is having alcohol. So when we number, if I can number this as first carbon, second, third, fourth. So, or there's also another way I can number. This will be first, second, third, and fourth. So first position we have alkene, then third position, fourth position we will have OH. But if I number from other side, because OH is a priority, so one, two, three, and four. This is a structural formula given. So OH is attached with the first carbon. Bromine is attached with the second carbon and double bond with the third carbon. So it's two bromo because uh, halogen alkene, the function, uh, their name, we always use a prefix. So three bromo. Viewed because of four carbon, three in is the position of the double bond and one all because the OH is attached with the first carbon is it clear this example any doubt till this point then for halogen alkane the class of halogen alkane uh, what we do we use the term fluoro chloro bromo iodo and give the position so this is a carbon chain we have one two three and four so second position we have bromine so that's why this two bromo butane but what about alcohols alcohol means oh group is there so again uh, we give the priority to oh so when we count if i count one two three so third position is OH. If I count from left hand side, second position is OH. So we always count from the nearest functional group or a branch, but function group is given a priority. So but because four carbon, A and we don't write A and E because this is starting with a vowel. So we don't write E, we'll write only A and and two all second OH is with the second carbon. That's why it is two. All. But what will happen if a compound has OH group in addition to another functional group? And whenever carboxylic acid is there, that is given the priority compared to any other functional group. 
So when we count, when we write the number, we should write in terms of the carboxylic acid. So this is one car first carbon, second and third. Now the OH is considered as a branch. It's not a functional group for the properties. So whenever we write OH, the, the use as a prefix, then we use the term hydroxy. So second position we have OH, we call two hydroxy propane, prop because of uh, three carbon and because they have a single bond. And oic acid is due to this C double bonded with O and OH. Is it clear? This one? If two or three OH groups are there, so one, two, and three, so prop because of three carbon. Now we write A and E. Why we write A and E? Why not N? Because it's a tri all, tri starting with letter T. It's not a vowel, that's why we write full A and E. And the position of alcohol, that is one, two, and three. Is it clear these examples of alcohols and halogen alkane? Any doubt? Then how to name aldehyde? For aldehyde, it is C double bonded with O and H. And they're always at the last. And the name should end at AL. So two carbon atoms are there at, because aldehyde is starting with a vowel. So that's why it is AN, due to the carbon-carbon single bond and AL because of aldehyde. For ketones, the name should end at O and E. Three carbon atoms are there. So prop because of three carbon and they have single bond in O and E, propanol. But what will happen if two are there and sometime if it is not symmetrical, like example here, this is a symmetrical molecule, both sides, it will have the equal number of carbon atoms. But sometime it's not always two that it will always have a symmetry. Sometime it might not have a symmetry. So this will be CH3, CH and CH3. So if it's not having a symmetry, as you can see, one side of the functional group of C double bonded with O, there are two carbon, but the other side there's only one. So in that case, we have to number this. And again, we number from the nearest uh, functional group. So one, two, three, and four. Why I did not number from other side? Because if I try to number from the other side, the ketone group will be there with a third carbon. That's why we now follow the numbering where it is closer. So there are four carbon atoms. That's why we call that as butte. Single bond N. And because the second position we have The functional group, so it is butan, two on, but four carbon and because they have a single bond and two on because second position we have the ketone. But if it is symmetrical, we don't have to number it. We just write the name directly. Same way, if we have two groups of ketone in the same structure, there are five carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, five. So we can number pent because of five. Now why we write A and E? Because two groups are there, di and tri or tetra when it is used. It should be the complete name A and E. We, don't, we do not exclude this uh, E from the name. And second and fourth position, we have the ketone. That's why it is two, four. So numbers are separated by commas. Whereas num number and words are separated by dash. 
but what if we have two functional group like carboxylic and ketone so again our priority group is carboxylic so one two three so second position we have a ketone so we call that as oxo that's called an oxo group and we call it as a prefix and if it is suffix then it will be on so it's two oxo propanoic acid when we name the carboxylic acid the functional group is c double bonded with o and oh and the name should end like oic acid so three carbon propanoic acid here two carbon and two functional group so eth because of two carbon a and e because it's a dioic acid that's why we use e so it is ethane dioic acid if you want to name the nitrile the nitrile group means c triple bonded with n so we select including that carbon in the nitrile we include that so four carbon are, atoms are there so but single bond between the carbon and it is a and e why because it's not starting with a vowel and because it's a functional group nitrile uh, c triple bonded with n it's called nitrile or cyano so in this case nitrile group is there So we write a nitrile. Now, if we have two functional group, one is hydroxy, another one is nitrile. Like OH group is there and C triple bonded with N. The priority group is nitrile group. So we count the number of carbon one, two, and three. So second position, we have a branch of carbon and we have alcohol as well, OH. But when OH is as a, considered as a branch, we use the term hydroxy. So two hydroxy, two methyl. Why two hydroxy? Second position we have hydroxy. Second position we have methyl. Prop because of three carbon it is prop. They have a single bond between them. It's N. And nitrile because of this group we call that as nitrile. So it is two hydroxy, two methyl, propane, nitrile. Whereas carboxylic acid and the derivatives like the carboxylic acid derivative like which can be formed from carboxylic acid such as esters, acyl chloride, these are known as carboxylic acid derivative. So if it's an ester C double bonded with O, the part which is attached with oxygen we name it first and the part which is attached with a carbon chain we name it second. So first position we have carbon, one carbon it's methyl and there are three carbon in the chain we call it as prop. And due to this functional group, we call that as OH. So it is methyl propanoid. Then acyl chlorides. As you can see, if C double bonded with O and Cl, it's called acyl chloride. So two carbon atoms are there at single bond between the carbon atoms and an oil chloride is used for this functional group, whole functional group. Here when we count one, two and three, so we have a branch, so two methyl, three carbon prop, single bond N, and oil chloride is due to this functional group. Then this will have five, because including this five carbon, so pent, and because there are two groups, functional groups, so it is dioyl chloride, Dioyl dichloride because two chlorine are also there. So it's dioyl, the functional group, as well as dichloride. And it is why E and E? A and E is used, E is not removed because it is di, it's not starting with a vowel. If we have amides, amide means C double bonded with O and N. So two carbon atoms are there at single bond N and amide. Then C double bonded with O and N. That's a mite group. And that carbon is ha also having two, uh, that nitrogen is having two carbon attached to it. So in that case, we how to represent? So we use the term letter N, like N is attached with methyl and N is attached with methyl. So N, N, dimethyl. 
and three carbon so it is prop and amide same way if we have c double bonded with o and n so methyl group is attached n methyl and three carbon so it will be prop and amide so c double bonded with o so n n N and N groups are there and then there is also another branch as you can see so this is one branch which is attached with nitrogen another branch attached with nitrogen another branch attached with carbon chain so N N and this is attached with the second carbon so it is two and how many methyl groups are there? Three, so that's why it is trimethyl and propanamide because three carbon, that's why it is propanamide. Is it clear uh, the naming of these hydrocarbons? Any doubt in this naming? So these are the rules which you have to go through time to time so that you can recall. So this is the last part. Uh, we'll continue this organic chemistry discussion uh, next session. Any question related to the class today?